Oh, do I have a ghost? Let's see, let's see what's hiding behind this door. That won't let me use the potty in peace. Oh, hello, okay. Hi everyone, I'm Dawn, welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. Um, I'm only doing like a portion of my face because I'm getting ready to do something and this side needs to be free of makeup. So what we're gonna do is gonna do a cut down the face and the side is gonna be, um, you know, trauma. And this side is gonna be kind of made up. I think it's really funny when people, you know, like trolls and people that are just uh, jealous or punks or whatever their reason is, um, living in their mom's basement, with a hairy, sweaty, greasy body. Um, you know, those people. Uh, I have to laugh when they like attack people's looks or something. It's like, can you get any original material? Are you capable of doing that? So I'm just trying to decide how I want to do the cut. I think, I think we're gonna do a bit of, third degree. Oh, there it is. Right here. I have a new one. I have a couple of these. I got them on Amazon. If I remember, I'll link them down below if this is something you're interested in. This particular one came with the little tool here, but I'm not going to use that because I have one out right here. And here is the third degree. You take equal amounts from A and B and mix them together, but you want to scoop them out with different, um, things. You don't want to double dip. So, so here it just, we'll use this end of this. So this is um, like a gel compound and you don't need a whole lot. And you can put foundation in this to color it and a uh, or you can just go over your makeup with it. And then this is B, and I'm gonna scoop that out with the other end of this. You know, the same amount. And you have to work with it fast because it sets up pretty quickly. And then start mixing it together. I, it looks like Vicks Vapor Rub, I know, but it doesn't smell like anything. Unlike um, like um, ugh, liquid latex, you know, has a very strong odor. Okay, I'm just putting in a little foundation. Um, the skin color doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna be scarring, so it's gonna be a little imperfect, so. We're just mixing it up here. Okay, so you wanna make sure you get it all mixed up really good. Okay, so then we're gonna take it and we're gonna just work down the line See, I'm like dividing it in the middle, kind of. A little bit of this stuff goes a long, long way. And as long as you get the mixture right, I find that it's very easy to work with. Okay, and so, Donna, it's already starting to set up. So 
I'm just kind of carving out kind of how I want it. What I'm doing is as I carve it out and there's some builds up on here, I just scrape it on the edge of this. Okay. Okay. And then it smooths down, see that? Right into the skin. And I'll link some YouTube videos I found of people using this. Um, there are some really, really wonderful ones out there. This isn't gonna require a lot of smoothing because there's gonna be some blood involved. So see that? I think. And when it sets, it's very similar to um, a gelatin, like when we make gelatin compounds. So yeah. Um, so now that we're do, we've done that, we're going to wait for that to set and just do a basic makeup over here on this side. I probably actually could just do this part off screen because this isn't the side that matters. You know, I'm no expert on this, so. Well, I'm not an expert on this stuff either, but I figure I'm learning. I may as well share it with people. She kind of like that for just a simple eye, you know. Okay, I know I'm kind of heavy handed on this side, but I really want each side to stand on its own. And to do that, sometimes you gotta go a little extreme. I'm gonna use a little gold. I know it won't turn up, but I'm gonna use a little gold for Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Okay, well that's it for this side. And this has set up nicely. I got my nice little split down the middle. So we're going to go down that line. And I think I'm gonna use, no, that, what? Hmm. I want it to be a fresh wound, but I don't know that I want it to actively be bleeding we're gonna put stitches in. So what I think I'm gonna do, actually, is go down the middle with black eyeliner. And what that does is adds depth. And I did that kind of off camera because I, it's really hard to get up close. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, this part mm, may prove to be a little tricky. I'll just use this little cheap brush right here. I like it because of this end. If I need it, I can use that for some, um, to give an aid, give an assistant to me. So we're gonna dip easily into the fake blood because I got a huge bottle like this. And we're gonna go down the middle like the shine from it a little bit. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna very lightly dot some red around my eye, just a little bit. And we're gonna 
just use my finger to kind of Then we're gonna go in with, I just have some of this black highlighter and I'm just gonna dot a little bit and then just bounce on it. All oh, this is my blender. And I got some twine, I love this stuff. It, you can do a lot of things with this stuff. And so we're gonna create stitches. Now, if I use liquid latex, I could just create holes in it and lace it through, but um, I think you just get a much more cleaner finish with the third degree. Okay, so I dip it both ends in the liquid latex. I'm just gonna hold it there for a few seconds. And it's gonna dry clear. So don't be alarmed by that, so. And we're just gonna go through. And do this a bunch more times. It probably should be closer, a little bit more this way, but you have to keep in mind that like scary mutants are, have sewn her up. So it's gonna not be perfect and pretty and medically sound. So I'm going to speed this up and finish, do this all the way down my face. Hopefully it works out. Okay, now we're gonna wait for all of these to dry. I did a little crisscross one, cause you know, I always have to. And then we're gonna put a tiny bit of fake blood in there to just uh, bring it to life, if you will. Okay, so it's all dry and you can see how nicely the third degree blends in. And we're gonna add some more fake blood. Um, just not a lot. In fact, I'm almost not even, I, I'm not just, uh, I'm not even sure that I really want to do this. Oh yeah. So we'll just add just a tiny bit at the ends of each. Stitch. And I, I, I think I mentioned this before, I like to do a little crisscross when I do stitches, just somewhere in there if I'm doing like kind of rustic. Because these are big bit, this is, um, Twine, so the holes are going to be bigger, so they're going to kind of have a little blood And these weren't medically Done they were done by you know a Crazy kidnapper guy Put a little more in there just mainly for shine you know and you, you gotta realize when skin would be pulled away like that it's gonna be a little faded in color than being you know attached to the face properly oh god I'm making such a mess 
Okay, so that's it. I like how it turned out. Um, I'm very happy with it. Um, and yeah, uh, uh, I will list all the supplies below. Um, if I remember, you know, how I forget everything. And um, I, uh, I like it so anyway but real super easy to do a little sticky takes a little time um, I think all together because I'm gonna be editing a lot of stuff out this probably took including drying time and this side probably an hour and a half maybe um, but yeah it is a little time consuming but it, it's pretty easy for the most part and there are no rules with makeup um, and I say that all the time and I mean it there's no rules with makeup you could do whatever you want with it it doesn't matter and if someone else doesn't like it they don't matter so anyway that's it thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this please subscribe um i've got a lot of stuff coming up for halloween and um i can't wait to share everything with you uh thanks so much and i'll talk to all of you later bye